so I did a play here called The Village Bike. Um, it was by Penelope Skinner, directed by Joe Hill Gibbons. Uh, I played the part of Becky, who's a um, 30, young 30s young woman. She's a school teacher. She's three months pregnant when her husband refuses to have sex with her anymore. And she's very sexually charged through her pregnancy. And so she becomes sort of addicted to porn and goes on a kind of unhealthy spiral into a sort of sexual addiction. And it was um, an amazing experience. <laughs> but one particular anecdote which I <laughs> still makes me laugh was that um, there's there's a lot of sex in the play it was quite a um, you know uh, revealing play in a number of ways and there was a day that I was rehearsing with the amazing Dominic Rowan and I were rehearsing a scene where the characters that we were playing having quite vigorous sex on a kitchen countertop and we were rehearsing in the rehearsing space just by a stage door. I was being vigorously made love to on this, you know, table. And Joe Hill Gibbons, the director, was sort of sat watching us, kind of looking at what we were doing. And one of the guys from the tube came to empty the bins outside the window. The guy from uh, the tube, who's like maybe the manager at the tube station or something, was just sort of standing at the window holding, you know, a bag of rubbish with this look of like, sort of amusement, but also real horror of what he was seeing. It wasn't just that we were having, apparently to him having sex, but that there was a guy just very coldly with a notebook watching us. Like, you're doing well, maybe a bit harder, like making notes. <laughs> I am, um, really into feminism <laughs> in a big way and it's an incredibly passionately feminist play and I'd never read I'd never seen a play as passionately engaged with politics in the way that the village bike is I read it and I if I had like had to run down the street and go and run into this building and kill somebody to be in it, I would have done, I mean, it was, I, I could not, I still can't believe I got to be in a play I felt so passionately about. It was an amazing experience for me um, because there aren't, you don't get that many opportunities to be in work that you feel actually maybe changes the fabric of the society that you live in. And I really did feel like that about that play and I, you know, hope that it's performed every year for the next hundred years and, and has an amazing life because it's it was a great honour to be in it. I've seen a lot of plays here since I was very young and that face I saw twice and I've never seen another play like it. I've never seen another play that's affected me that much. I, I couldn't put into words the intensity of emotion I had when I saw it. I was sobbing volubly to the extent that people behind me asked me to be quiet in the theatre. Um, it was like being punched, like repeatedly punched. And, and it was so, um, it, I think it's, for, it's, it's tempting to sort of see, you know, new writing and new work as being kind of trendy. And it was so not that. It was pure emotion. It was absolutely, gut-wrenchingly, brilliantly acted. It was, it tore at the fabric of my soul. It was so good. And I, I would never imagine that play being put on somewhere else. I can't imagine another theatre doing it. I can't imagine it having any life outside of this building and the people who made it here. And yeah, it was an amazing experience. New writing is the most important part of theatre. It's the most important part for me of, of, of acting <laughs> is theatre. And the most important part of theatre is new writing. And you need a home for new writing. There's no point having theatre without new writing. It, it eventually, uh, old writing only retains its relevance because of new writing. You know, there's no point having Shakespeare without Orton. There's no point having Chekhov without Penelope Skinner. You know, you have to have, you have, to have people responding to the classics in order to make them relevant. Um, and... We, as actors, live through um, being challenged by new writers. We don't improve unless we have new writers to give us 
roles to play and an interesting subject matter to respond to. And audiences and societies need to be challenged and new writing does that. Um, it's something I feel very, very, very passionately about and I think that if you don't have a space, a physical space that encapsulates the importance of new writing, then it's sort of just an idea and when people program in houses that do classics as well as new writing, new writing is always a risk, you know, so you're always tempted to go back to the classics and then the temptation of making money, of course, you know, and that uh, that becomes the greatest draw and, and when you have a space, a house and that is there, that is what they do, we just, we do new plays then I think, you know, you, you cannot, it, it's inevitable that just great work will come out of that. Could you finish this sentence for me, please, which is, if the Royal Court didn't exist, I wouldn't... Pay my taxes. <laughs>